Good morning. Welcome to Christ the King's morning prayer service. This is Thursday, March 30th. The opening sentence is a verse from Psalm 51. Turn your face from my sins and blot out all my misdeeds. Dearly beloved, the scriptures teach us to acknowledge our many sins and offenses, not concealing them from our Heavenly Father, but confessing them with humble and obedient hearts, that we may obtain forgiveness by his infinite goodness and mercy. We ought at all times humbly to acknowledge our sins before Almighty God, but especially when we come together in his presence to give thanks for the great benefits we have received at his hands, to declare his most worthy praise, to hear his holy word, and to ask for ourselves and on behalf of others those things which are necessary for our life and our salvation. Therefore, draw near with me to the throne of heavenly grace. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O Lord, have mercy upon us, spare those who confess their faults, restore those who are penitent according to your promises, declare to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord, and grant a most merciful Father for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life, to the glory of your holy name. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant you absolution and remission of all your sins, to repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The antiphon we use a Lent is found on page 30. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Oh, come, let us adore him. The Vinita on page 14. Oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is the great God and the great King above all gods. In his hand are all the depths of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down and kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as in the provocation, and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness, when your fathers tested me and put me to the proof, though they had seen my works. Forty years long was I grieved with this generation and said, It is a people that err in their hearts, for they have not known my ways, of whom I swore in my wrath that they should not enter into my rest. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. O oh, come, let us adore him. We'll now have a psalm reading and the gospel reading. Psalm appointed for today is Psalm 71. It can be found starting on page 357. In you, O Lord, have I put my trust. Let me never be put to shame. Rescue me and deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be my rock and my refuge, where I may always turn, return. You've promised to help me, for you are my stronghold and my fortress. Deliver me, O oh my God, out of the hand of the ungodly, out of the hand of the unrighteous and the cruel. For you, O oh Lord God, are the one I long for. You are my hope, even from my youth. Through you have I been upheld, 
held ever since I was born. You took me out of my mother's womb. My praise shall be always of you. I have become important to many, but you are my refuge and my strength. Oh, let my mouth be filled with your praise that I may sing of your glory all the day long. Cast me not away in the time of old age. Forsake me not when my strength fails me. For my enemies speak against me, and those who lie in wait for my life take counsel together. They say, God has forsaken him, pursue him and take him, for there is none to deliver him. Go not far from me, O God. My God, make haste to help me. Let those who are my adversaries be confounded and perish. Let those who seek to do me evil be covered with shame and dishonor. As for me, I will always patiently abide and will praise you more and more. My mouth shall speak daily of your righteousness and salvation, for I know not the end mm. of them. I will go forth in the strength of the Lord God and will make mention of your righteousness, yours alone. You, O oh God, have taught me from my youth. Even to this day, I am telling of your wondrous works. Forget me not, O oh God, in my old age, when I am gray-headed, until I have proclaimed your strength to this generation and your power to all those who are yet to come. Your righteousness, O oh God, reaches heavens. You thinks, who is like you, O oh God? Oh, what great troubles and adversities you have shown me. And yet you have turned and refreshed me. Indeed, you have brought me again from the depths of the earth. You have brought me to great honor and comforted me on every side. Mm. Therefore, will I praise you and your faithfulness, O God, playing on a stringed instrument. To you, I will sing with the harp of Holy One of Israel. My lips will rejoice when I sing to you. And so will my soul, which you have delivered. Mm. My tongue shall, my tongue also shall speak of your righteousness all the day long, for they are confounded and brought to shame who seek to do me evil. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. The reading today is a reading from the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Mark, beginning with the first chapter, the first verse. The beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the son of God, as it is written in Isaiah, the prophet, behold, I send my messenger before your face, who will prepare your way. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. John appeared, baptizing in the wilderness and proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And all the country of Judea and Jerusalem were going out to him and were being baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair and wore a leather belt around his waist and ate locusts and wild honey. And he preached, saying, after me comes he who is mightier than I. The strap of whose sandals I am not worthy to stoop down and untie. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth of, Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And when he came up out of the water, immediately he saw the heavens being torn open and the spirit descending on him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven. You are my beloved son. With you, I am well pleased. The spirit immediately drove him out into the wilderness, and he was in the wilderness 40 days, being tempted by Satan. And he was with the wild animals, and the angels were ministering to him. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Well, this morning will be the Benedictus Domini, beginning at the bottom of page 18. Glory to you, Lord God of our fathers. You are worthy of praise. Glory to you. Glory to you for the radiance of your holy name. 
we will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you in the splendor of your temple, on the throne of your majesty, glory to you. Glory to you seated between the cherubim, we will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you beholding the depths in the high vault of heaven, glory to you. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we will praise you and highly exalt you forever. The Apostles' Creed on page 20. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. And Lord, with have your mercy. Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. O oh Lord, show your mercy upon us. And grant us your salvation. O oh Lord, guide those who govern us. And lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. And let your people sing with joy. O oh Lord, save your people. And bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O oh Lord. And defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O oh Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O oh God. And take not your Holy Spirit from us. The Collect of the Day. Almighty God, you alone can bring into order the unruly wills and affections of sinners. Grant your people grace to love what you command and desire what you promise, that among the swift and very changes of this world, our hearts may surely there be fixed. For true joys are to be found through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. A collect for guidance. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit that in all the cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We'll now have a time for prayer. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, we praise you, we worship you, we adore you. Thank you for your many blessings to us. We would especially lift up to you our diocese this day and ask you to hedge it roundabout with protection, give guidance to all the members, especially our bishop, that they might move forward according to your way and your will, being conformed to your image. Yes, Father, we, we lift up to you. Um, our special focus today is on our diocese. It is such a big diocese with so many needs. And so we ask that you would surround Bishop Stephen with health and strength and grace to lead this diocese uh, always in your will, that you would give him strong and firm leadings where you would have us all go. Mm. You would lead us, his people, to always 
hold him and his family up in prayer to surround them with protection and good health. Um, that you would lead us each day to hold up Father Pete and his family, Father Mike and Deacon Bill, mm -hmm. that you would keep our leadership well um, and that you would continue to help them lead all of us into your word and help us to unpack it and weave it into our lives each day. Help us to uh, strive to live that resurrected life we studied last night and to each day be a little bit better representatives of you than we were the day before. Help us at Christ the King to be worthy representatives of you in our neighborhood and in Albuquerque. All these things we ask in your name. Father God, um, I pray that you would help the discernment committee and the people that are um, taking next steps of, of faith to consider whether they may, may be at um, candidates for deaconhood and priesthood. Um, pray that you'd bring the right leaders into the right congregations and churches. Uh, and I also just pray for Bishop uh, Stephen Ty that you would help him to, uh, to lead well. Um, give him wisdom as he makes decisions and pray that you'd have a good, um, a good group of, of advisors and counselors around him that um, are seeking after you as well, uh, that they would have wise discernment and follow your Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Lord Jesus, we lift up the upcoming GAFCON meeting in Kigali, Rwanda, the Global Anglican Futures Conference, uh, where uh, bishops and uh, leaders from all of the dioceses and provinces uh, and the majority of the Anglican Communion will be gathering uh, to make some big decisions, uh, particularly uh, surrounding uh, future relationships with uh, the uh, Archbishop of Canterbury and uh, we we pray, Lord, that there will be uh, a, a unanimity uh, in decision making that uh, honors you. That isn't is made without rancor or bitterness, but that is an expression of your of your will uh, for um, living faithful lives that uh, honor you and honor uh, the, the truth of your word. We ask, Lord, that you'll give uh, our delegation from. Uh, the Southwest Diocese, uh, good health. Uh, <laughs> it's a long way from uh, from New Mexico, West Texas, uh, to Africa. And uh, we pray, Lord, for all the logistical things like uh, air travel, but also uh, that um, people will be uh, protected from any kind of tropical uh, illnesses that um, they may uh, be exposed to. And we pray, Lord, for uh, good health and uh, safe travels um, returning back home. In Jesus' name, amen. A prayer of St. John Chrysostom. Almighty God, you've given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will grant the requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.